Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to solve uh, questions from IGCSC 0580 Maths Paper 2 Similar Shapes from Worksheet 2C. Let's start. Question number one. A cylindrical glass has a radius of 3 cm and a height of 7 cm. A large cylindrical jar full of water is a similar shape to the glass. The glass can be filled with water from the jar exactly 216 times. Work out the radius and height of the jar. This is the glass and this is the jar. The radius of the glass is 3 cm. Height is 7 cm. We need to find the radius of the jar and the height of the jar. The information that is given to us is that the glass can be filled from the jar exactly 216 times. So the capacity has been given to us. Capacity means volume and exactly 216 times. To find the volume, if we have the scale factor, we times it three times. So volume is equal to k times k times k. Which number when you multiply it three times will give you 216. So we are going to do cube root of 216. And the answer is 6. So k is equal to 6. That is our scale factor. Now to find the radius, 3 multiplied by 6 will give you the radius of the jar, which is 18. So your radius is 18 centimeter. 7 multiplied by 6 will give you your height, which is 42. So your height is 42. Whenever you have to solve a similar shape question, the first thing you need to do is find your k. In question 2, we have been given two shapes and a company makes solid chocolate eggs and these shapes are mathematically similar. The diagram shows eggs of height 2 cm and 6 cm. The mass of the small egg is 4 grams. Calculate the mass of the large egg. Mass is also related to volume. Capacity is related to volume. Here the height of both the eggs are given to us. So 2, uh, two times the scale factor which we will call k is equal to 6. So k is equal to 6 divided by 2, 3. This k is the scale factor for two dimensions like of height or radius and now we have to find the scale factor of the volume. When we want to find the scale factor of the volume we are going to cube the scale factor. So the mass is 4 and our scale factor is 3 but because it is related to volume we are going to write it as 3 cube and that will give us 108. So the answer is 108 grams. So in question number 3 we have been given diagram so it makes things much easier. The diameter is 9 and the height is 20. Both of them are similar containers. Find the value of T. Again, the first thing we need to do is find the scale factor with the values that are given. So 20 and 10 are the corresponding sides. 20 multiplied by the scale factor will give us the height of the small container. So k is equal to 10 divided by 20, which is 0 0.5. Now to find the value of d, we are going to times 9 by the scale factor, which is 0 0.5. And we will get 4.5 centimeters. So d is 4.5 centimeter. Moving on to part b. The larger container has a capacity of 1600 milliliter. Calculate the capacity of the smaller container. This is a case of volume. Whenever you have volume, we multiply by the scale factor cube to find the other volume. So 1600 
multiply by our scale factor which is 0 0.5 to the power of 3 will give us the capacity of the smaller container and that is 200 milliliter the next question two containers are mathematically similar in shape the larger container has a volume of 3456 cubic centimeter and a surface area of 1024 square centimeter the smaller container has a volume of 1,458 cubic centimeter. Calculate the surface area of the smaller container. So we have been given the volume of the larger container and the smaller container. Volume has been given, which is 3,456. This is equal to 1,458 it will equal to each other when you multiply the volume of the larger container with a scale factor cube so we need to find this k and then when we move it to the other side 1458 divided by 3456 we will cube root the answer whenever when you have a cube and you want to find k cube the answer on the cube root the answer on the other side and we'll get k is equal to 3 over 4 so this is for the k now the smaller container has uh, the larger container has volume this is a large container small container has a volume one uh, sorry area 1024 and you want to find the surface area of the small container whenever you want to find the area we square the scale factor so 1000 multiplied by 3 over 4 square will give us the area of the smaller container and that is 576 square centimeter question number five the two barrels in the diagram are mathematically similar. The smaller barrel has a height of 8 cm and a capacity of 100 liters. The larger barrel has a height of 90 cm and a capacity of 160 liters. Work out the value of H. Again, we have been given the capacity. Capacity means volume. So the larger volume is 160 liters and the the smaller volume is 100 liters multiply by k cube k is our scale factor so k is equal to 100 over 160 cube root that will give us a decimal so we will not uh, change it we will just leave it like that now for the height the height of the larger barrel is 90 centimeter 90 multiplied by k which is 100 1 over 60 cube root will give us the height of the smaller barrel and we will get 76.9 rounded to one decimal place centimeters this to the end of this tutorial i hope i've been able to help you if you need help with any particular topic do message in the comment section. I will help you out.